Introducing Jer Craddock, Chief Officer CEUD. The Centre for Excellence Universal Design is part of the National Disability Authority, which is based in Dublin, Ireland. The three areas the centre covers are standards, education and awareness. The centre was set up uh, under legislation in 2007. Its key aims is how do we create societies, our communities, that are fully accessible, uh, understandable and easy to use by all citizens. Introducing Neil Murphy, Senior Build Environment Advisor, CEUD. So the idea of universal design, especially in the built environment, is to make our experiences as easy and understandable as possible. It should be just uh, a normal process to use, access and use a building. So universal design provides information how to give wayfinding signage, how to find the main entrance, how to actually access the spaces that you're in. Introducing Peter Crowley, co-director PAC Studios. We would introduce universal design uh, in any project, so we would also do domestic work from kind of adaptations to very, very large uh, new housing. And most clients come to you and they're just thinking about today. But to successfully design, you need to think about the long term because in five years time, that's going to have changed. They now have teenagers or children that are in college or working but still living at home, then they're getting older, they might become less able, less mobile, all of these things. So you need to start to think about the long term in any housing design or in any domestic work. Introducing George Boyle, MRIAOR, architect and Fumbly Exchange founder. What I find CUD exceptional for is that grey area around interpretation. So that they go beyond the idea of rules and books for, you know, guiding people through life. They, they interpret specific contexts and respond with specific, bespoke, tailored solutions. Neil Murphy, Senior Build Environment Advisor, CEUD, speaks again. A lot of the work that we do in the centre is the development of design guidance. Uh, how do you get designers and built environment professionals to change? And from that, we develop workshops where we invite along the end users, such as uh, people from professional built environment bodies and people from our stakeholder groups. You could have a landscape architect talking with an engineer, talking with someone who may be a wheelchair user, talking to someone whose child may have autism. Peter Crowley, co-director, PAC Studios, speaks again. I think building for everyone. The, the box of books that the Centre of Universal Design released is excellent and it should be in every architecture office. Introducing Damien Owens, Registrar Engineers Ireland. Universal Design as a concept when it was developed, the concept is primarily applicable to the construction and primarily, you know, say houses or buildings and making them suitable for everybody. I think it is spread out from that, that's been very welcome. Introducing Ali Grehan, MRIAI, City Architect at Dublin City Council. Literally, somebody in City Architects can pick up the phone to uh, somebody in the centre and have a chat about an issue. They'll give us an honest response and it'll help, it helps us make our projects better. If we're not designing our buildings and places for everybody, who are we designing them for? We're designing them for nobody.